All right, so now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and install the motherboard inside of the computer case. And what we wanna first do is get our input and output played out and see which spots we need to punch out. And what I usually do is just put it up against it and see what ports it is blocking so I know which ones to actually pop out out of here. So just go ahead and do that first and you can go ahead and put this directly behind the case just like that and the motherboard is just going to slide up against it and hold it in place. Alright so I'm going to put my plate inside here. Then take my motherboard and it's, it should be obvious from this point where exactly the motherboard should be facing. And something else I need to point out before I put this in here. Uh, make sure you have some kind of standoff from the actual metal plate here. Again, let me try to point that out a little bit. As you can see here, I have uh, four little standoff points. Some computer cases have them, some don't. And usually the uh, computer case will include some type of standoff that you can install in here. What the standoffs do is uh, prevent the motherboard from touching the metal plate because if the components on the bottom of the motherboard are touching the same uh, plate or metal plate here, it's just going to create a short circuit and damage the whole uh, motherboard. So you definitely want to make sure you have some kind of standoffs. So again, I'm just going to install this in here. And align the holes up with the standoffs. And make sure my ports are going inside of my uh, input and output plate. And I'll show you the back of that in a minute. Alright. So I'm just going to start on one side of the board and screw that down. And I wouldn't recommend, recommend screwing it down uh, very tightly until you get all the screws in first. And these screws uh, came with the case, just to point that out as well. Let's get some more screws here. And I'm going to put the other screw on the other side of the board. Alright, so my motherboard is now secured to the case here. And just to show you the back of it, show you my inputs and outputs. Very plain little interface, input and output plate, but hey, it gets the job done. So anyway, next what I can go go ahead and do, it really depend, it's really up to you. I'm just going to go ahead and start with the hard drive and install that next. And let's just go ahead and get started. Alright, so now I'm going to start with the hard drive. Go ahead and unpackage that. And again, I am still grounded. Pretty much grounded during this whole process. Again, it's just a nice practice to, to have. And I'm using this anti-static motherboard um, package to act as like a little anti-static mat or something. So here, just to go over the hard drive itself, uh, let's see if we can get a little close up on this. Here, this long strip here of connections uh, is where the power uh, goes. And here's where the serial ATA cable goes so this part is fairly easy that's the only parts that you really need to be concerned with and again that's power and that's data and my motherboard or my computer case actually came with some uh, some poles to make it easy to slide this hard drive in and out of my computer case so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and try to hook up next So basically these poles here, uh, let's try to see how these actually mount on, t on top of this. Let's just go like so. Let me just zoom in on that. And I basically just take one screw and place it in the middle here.
and basically this stays on like that. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Alright, and there we go. I have both on the side so I can go ahead and try to install this into my computer case. All right, so next, in order to install the hard drive, I really like the way they built this uh, computer case because the hard drive basically has a little slot here that it can slide into. So, just going to put the hard drive right in here and lift it upright and just slide it into place. And it has two holes here, which I'm going to have to screw it down to. So, I'm just trying to line these holes up with the holes on top of the uh, chassis here. Just slide it in like so. And then again, read your manual to, to figure out what screws you need. These have a little pointed tip to them. Let's just take that and screw it on down. And as you can see here, my connections are facing this direction. So that way I have room to make the connections to my motherboard. So I'm going to go ahead and screw the other side down. And it's starting to look more and more like a computer. So now what I can do is go ahead and hook this hard drive up to the motherboard. So let's just go ahead and get into that next. Alright, so next what I'm going to do is take my connections from the front of my computer case and go ahead and hook those up into the motherboard. These are like the connections, like the USB connection in front of the case and the uh, headphone jack and the microphone jack. And something else to point out before we get started, uh, sometimes people get confused which one is the USB uh, cable and uh, what other cables you may have. But uh, in a way, this one does have USB on the actual cord here so just look at the cord label sometimes they have little stickers here and whatnot but again it's kind of you this one does have uh, like a missing port on it so it's kind of hard to uh, hook that up wrong in a way so it's, it's, it is fairly straightforward just again analyze uh, what's going on and look at your motherboard and see what different pieces probably go and if you can't figure them out usually the manual manual will tell you so let's just go ahead and get started 